First of all, I want to thank you for checking out my videos of baseball cards. I am listing my cards by player. I'm doing a video of cards that I have by each player. And this player is Carlos Correa. So he is the shortstop for the Houston Astros. Of course, if you're here checking it out, you probably already know that. So before I go into showing you my cards of Carlos Correa, I just wanted to let you know of why I'm selling cards. And I'm also doing breaks. And the reason is pretty simple. I am a disabled Marine Corps veteran. And currently I am at 90%. Should have been at 100% several years ago. Been fighting with the VA for that. Been fighting with the VA for health care over the last year. It's been an extensive fight. And right now I've gotten congressmen involved. I've gotten higher-ups involved. It's just gotten bad. In the middle of trying to fight for my health care, I had COVID back in January and still haven't seen a lung specialist because the VA simply hadn't paid their bills uh, from the lung doctor, that I, the lung doctor, I don't know what he's called, uh, the specialist that I saw back in November. They haven't paid their bills from then, so I can't even see my doctor right now. So while I'm going through all of that and having really tough uh, physical problems, <clears throat> and you'll hear that I'll gas for a little bit of air as I go through this. Um, my wife, after six years during all of this, has decided to leave, and it wasn't really a decision. It was planned. Uh, she left literally the day that she got her citizenship. So I am now in a position where I have a single income, being my disability, to pay all the bills in the house with children. Uh, right now, uh, my children are choosing to stay with me. At least one of them is with me. The other one goes back and forth, but um, I'm trying to fight the courts to keep both children. So in an emergency situation, the VA did send me already to be reevaluated by doctors. That information's been sent to the VA, and they're trying to make a determination uh, to get me to 100%, and many of them don't know why I'm not there already. That's a huge financial difference between 90% and 100%, even though the percentage doesn't seem that way. If you're not curious of how that goes, uh, that's the difference between not being able to pay my bills and being able to pay my bills. So that's where I am right now. Uh, we still haven't gone to court yet for this divorce that's, uh, that's coming up. But again, she left right after the citizenship ceremony and uh, tried to run off with my kids right away. And my oldest child said, I'm not having any of that. You're not leaving. You're not, I'm not leaving my dad. So he came back and that kind of threw a wrench into her plans. She tried to go off to another state. Didn't work. She now has decided to stay here. So we're about to go through court to have that figured out. And meanwhile, she's not giving me any money to help out with the bills. So my single income now is being counted on and it's not enough to cover the bills. That's why I'm selling cards. That's why I'm doing breaks. So if you want to get involved in one of those breaks, uh, send me a message. We've done a break already. Uh, this is the second break. And right now we have 11 spots filled already. There's 19 more to go. So the $30 a break, it's done teams by random and there's 30 spots. So the cards in the break are 2021 Stadium Club, two boxes of that for hobby and a box of Tops Hobby, and on top of that, over $500 worth of other cards, including autographs and star cards and inserts being thrown into that. So you're getting a lot of back in return. Uh, a few people took home cards from the first break that were over $100 and uh, men had many happy people from that break. So if you want to get involved, drop me a line. I'll send you the link to that and see how many spots you can take up in that break. Uh, otherwise, here's my Carlos Correa card, so please take a look. If you're interested in any of these, just simply take a screenshot of all the ones you like, send them to me. Uh, once I collectively get your screenshots, uh, whether they're Correa or they're another player too, I'll have other players listed. Uh, then we can discuss a deal on the Correa cards that you want. Um, the YouTube channel where this video will be uploaded will have other players there. If you see another player that's not there, let me know. I'll do a video of that player. I'll stick it on there, and you can check out what cards I have of them as well. So without further ado, let's check out my list of Carlos Correa. Now, I personally collect Correa cards. Uh, my kids are huge Astros fans, and we go to the games. 
Uh, I am primarily a Reds fan, grew up a Reds fan, but I've been living in Houston uh, for a long time and also am a Reds fan, or am an Astros fan. So I do collect Correa cards, so I'm not, a lot of these are from my personal collection, just uh, just remember that. Um, obviously, if I have more than one of uh, a card, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be willing to uh, do something, but I may not be... I'm just saying, maybe not all these are going to be available. It just depends. So I guess at the right price, they're all available. So anyway, let's just take a look what I have for Carlos Correa. This one is uh, numbered out of 99. As you can see right there. And I'm just going to go through what I have. I also have some autograph cards of him uh, that I keep in my personal box. Uh, these come out of the team boxes. That one's numbered at 199. Uh, I do have... Uh, a pretty big collection of autograph cards from him, actually, too. The tribute that's not numbered, I don't think. But for now, these are the ones I have available for sale. And uh, I will... If you catch me, I'll send you probably photos, or I will actually put up my personal collection... Uh, that comes out of my box and if you want to see a link to that just let me know and I'll show that to you and I'll have it up on Facebook somewhere it'll just be all the photos out of my personal collection I'm about to redo that whole every once in a while I just like to do a, on my Facebook page a picture frame uh, kind of deal of all of my personal cards out of my personal collection so a lot of autograph Carlos Correa in there I do have a lot of decent cards of him because, like I said, I am a big fan of Carlos Correa. It's Forrest Lewis upside down there. It's a pretty thick card right here. He's pretty good. He stays healthy. It's great. And the playoffs. He's really good. Defensively, one of the best. I've got a bunch of these, but I'll tell you, it's still one of my favorite sets. And that's one of my favorite cards of him. Look at this. I like it. Likewise, I have a very big collection of Verlander, and um, I hate to sell any that I don't have doubles of because he is my favorite player. In fact, he was my favorite player back when he played for the Tigers, and um, I, when I used to play baseball on the video games with my kids, I used to put Verlander on the Astros all the time before he even came here. So when he came here, my kids just thought it was funny. I said, well, Dad, you already had him on the team. Yes, I did. Hopefully he gets healthy. really wish he would come back. Hoping he still has a lot left in the tank. Well, that's a nice one. Hopefully he has a lot left in the tank. I'm seeing mixed reviews on how other fans in Houston feel about him, but who knows? It's getting older. He's set out for a long time because of injury. Who knows what Verlander's going to do. Right now. Oh, look at that. Might be a piece of his tidy whities Who knows what that is. I hope that's not because this one's a little on the browns. Oh, that's a piece of bat. I'm sorry. Still kind of cool. Man, this 
it's really cool just going through these. I'm really liking looking at this collection. I need to put it in order though. Some kind of order. He's got some really nice cards, man. I love these. Ah, one of my favorites here. A young Carlos, look at that draft picks. Wow, look at that tributes card. It's also numbered. Looks like 150. Yeah. That one's numbered 250. Carlos Correa. Oh, boy. Almost dropped that. Don't think that's numbered. That's a pretty looking card. Oh, I was wrong. It was numbered to 299. Refractor. And there's that one. Wow. Hope you're enjoying checking out my Carlos Correa cards. Because I'm enjoying it. Love the purple refractors. And that one, they don't call it a refractor, though they call it something else. I like that card. Puerto Rico's finest. Mm, come on. There's that focus. Ooh. Nice. That card's numbered out of 199. There we go. Hmm. Those pink cards. Oh boy. That is different. That's a fireworks. A lot of pink fireworks. And then there's this one. One of my favorites. And this is out of 50. And I'm going to tell you now, probably not for sale because me and my kids went to the game and I have a one of one Verlander from this game also. Shows the uh, 42 on it. So that was a very memorable game for me and my kids. And we had forgotten about Jackie Robinson Day. We didn't know it was going to be Jackie Robinson Day. So we got down there, and um, then we started seeing everybody wearing the same number, and it kind of hit us. We're like, oh, it must be Jackie Robinson Day. So we have the video from that game and cards from that game. Pretty awesome. If you're in Houston and you're checking this out, over in Katy, there's a great baseball card shop there called Odyssey, and you should check that out. That's where I've gotten a lot of my cards from. And Brian, who runs it, Greg used to run it. He passed away. Uh, Brian continued it, and he's a great guy. So if you want to go check that out, that would be pretty cool. Give him a call. Just look up Odyssey and Katy, Odyssey Sports Cards and Comics. Go pay him a visit. Great guy. He knows me and my kids very well. Oh, look at this inception. It's numbered, I think. The green one's always numbered. Doesn't show that it's numbered, but it's a good looking card.
You go over there and ask him if you know Doug. He will tell you he knows all about the situation. Probably more than he cares to know. <laughs> He's also married to a Vietnamese lady. They are expecting a child. Look at that. Just saw that one. And, okay, again, that's the end of my Carlos Correa collection. So if you're interested in any of these, send me a screenshot, and we'll work out a price or see maybe availability for that matter. Um, also, uh, if you're interested in some higher-end cards, autographs, I have plenty of those. Some of them I'm sending off to get graded. Brian's going to help me taking care of that so that I can actually uh, get those cards graded and hopefully sell them to make more money to help with the bills. But that's not going to happen for down the road because we all know that the grading are, is an issue right now with PSA and Beckett. So that's been slowed down because of that. So that situation in itself has hurt me because I can't really send my cards off to get them graded and, and maybe make extra money. But... Um, Still have some that haven't been sent off and some other Astros, so I am going to, they're in my personal collection. Uh, graded cards also. I'm gonna do a video on my personal collection and I'm also gonna put them on my Facebook page, uh, on a Facebook page that I have. That's where my, uh, it'll be the same Facebook page where I'm holding my uh, uh, breaks. And I will also probably do a video of my graded cards, which are in a different box because they don't fit in these boxes. And I'm sure I have Carlos Correa graded cards as well. So if you want to look through those too and some other Astros, you'll find through that. But for now, these are the ones from the regular box. And if there's any you're interested in, do a screenshot, send it to me and let me know. And also, please, if you want to get involved in that break, uh, send me a message and I'll get you involved. And... We can make it happen, trying to make it happen by next weekend, or this coming weekend, I should say. Uh, thanks for checking out my video.